Well, it's not actually Springer anymore, but I thought we'd have a bit of a recap on um, swarm catching boxes, because obviously everybody would know you can catch a swarm, but if you can catch them in a box, well then half the job's already done, because they're already in it. I've had a crack at buying the swarm commander stuff. I've had a crack at the um, lemongrass and uh, I don't know, several other ideas and uh, essential oils, essential lemongrass oil, I think it was. And some of that sort of worked. I found in the end it was better just to have some, like a used newt box seemed to work good. So they actually had some of the honey scent, some of the old bee scent in there and a bit of drawn comb and some other frames. And they seem to be the most successful. And this last spring, I think I got 11 swarms from just doing that, which I thought was pretty effective. And so I just thought I'd show you this and then we'll go and have a look at the one that I've left in the, in the tree. So this seemed to be the most successful method for me. I've got a bit of drawn comb. As long as it's nice and clean, don't have um, old, well, it's probably not the best to have old brood comb so you get the wax moths and crap in there, but um, generally they'll die out before the swarm turns up anyway. So you just want the nice, so then the bees can smell all of this and it's just nice and natural. And look, one of the girls from around here is already smelling this up. And I just sit that in the middle. They'll come, obviously they'll come zipping in their little hole and having a sniff around and the field bees will, just come in and work this and then of course they'll go back and tell the scout bee if there's a swarm coming. Sometimes they'll fly straight from the actual hive in the field straight into here. You don't even have to do the whole swarming excitement. Well, anyway, I've had good success so I just thought I'd share that. We'll go and have a look at one that's left. So this is um, the last little swarm catching box that I've left in this tree. So we've, she's run on a bit. We're getting on you know, a fair bit after swarming season. But anyway, I thought I'd leave it up here so we could film it. And so this is number 12. So I thought that was pretty good average actually for around this countryside. And I thought we'll pull her out of the tree and have a bit of a look, but I think I might put my bee suit on before I do that. I might just give them a little puff of smoke. Like I said earlier on though, this, these, we've left these here a bit longer than probably they need to, so I'm actually gonna put them in this bigger box. So I'm just gonna transfer them into that as well while we're here playing around with them. I think I'm gonna bring them down and sit them on top of this pallet. They'll eventually figure out where they are. It's a bit cooler today, so they shouldn't be too many bees out and about. But we'll give them a bit of a puff see how angry they can get. My um, teammate was just wondering about a ladder, so trying to explain to him that that was the ladder. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I don't drop the shit on my head. Oh my goodness, mate. Oh. If I drop that on your head, you won't be happy, will you? <laughs> That's quite heavy. They've been busy. Don't try this at home, children. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness me, ladies. We've been leaving this a bit long. Oh, they have been busy. Look at that lot. <laughs> I thought they had a bit of honey on board. Wow. This is what happens when you leave your swarm box a little bit long. They get a little bit carried away. <laughs> Joys of accommodating for the film crew. But hell, that looks all right to me, look at that. That's not bad. Would that technically be free honey since we didn't do anything to get this swarm except put this box together? It's not that far away. We're just gonna sit them back on top of that pallet and then eventually the field bees will figure out that this is where they're meant to come back to. We'll see what sort of mess we've got since we've left it a bit long. They have definitely filled up this poor little nuke box. I think what's happened is the wax foundation that we had in here has melted a bit and made a very weird little pattern. Shit happens as they say, doesn't it? Seems to happen on this show anyway. <laughs> They're industrious little critters, aren't they? But anyway, probably wasn't actually expecting to catch this one. She's doing a good job under arduous conditions. <laughs> Seen her yet, but we don't really need to find her as long as we don't kill her. It's making a mess we are. Ooh, got a nice honey store there on the edge. Golly. They have pleased with themselves, I reckon.
But you will be happy, girls, once we get you settled. You now you have a bit more room. I'll just leave them there for a second until they sink. So as you can see, we've caused a bit of confusion. The field bees have come back to where, we, where they think home is. But they're flying around and they won't be long and they'll figure out that home's down here. So, you know, within the rest of this day. So they, all those girls will be down here with these lot. So we're basically mimicking the fact that if this was a natural swarm in a tree and it fell out of the tree, well then they would rejig re their sensors or their radar or I don't really know. How do they, how do they actually find out where they are? They're pretty bloody clever. <laughs> Apparently they ride, fly around in circles and tell each other what the hell is going on. So that's pretty cool. Well, I think that was fairly successful. We got the girls moved into a bit bigger box. I'm just going to pop them here because I just think it's a bit easier than clambering back up into the catching position. We'll just let them settle down, put this lid on. They can stay here for a day or two until they get motivated to run them down the way. They didn't look like they had any bad diseases going on. So, except for the fact that they had built their nests on a little bit wonky honeycomb, but that's not their fault. So, I reckon they're doing pretty good actually.